Hi, everybody. Today, we're going to be using our Chromebooks and our camera tool to take five different angles of our faces. Then we're going to put them together as a digital collage to create our digital portraits. We're going to add three images from the internet that tell a little story about who we are, such as our interests or our values. So let's get started. I am going to share my screen. Wonderful. And I'm going to type in our digital art tool called Klecky, K L E K I dot com. So now we're in our new website. Okay. On this website, you're going to see different tools. So this one is to create a brand new image. You already have an image as soon as you sign in, so you do not need that. This tool is very important. This is our import tool. So I have already taken the liberty to find my camera tool, which um, on my computer was when I clicked on my apps on the computer. If you go under the letter C, you should find a camera tool. And when you find that camera tool, then it's probably going to save it in a folder that's either going to be called pictures or camera roll. So you need to know where these images are being saved. All right, so I've already taken several pictures of my face today and um, we're going to import them. So I go to this tool that is the folder tool. And then I go to my camera roll and try to find, where did I put these pictures? It's not here. So let's try a different folder, camera roll. So you can see that I took a lot of pictures of this project and then I tried it again because I didn't like it. So I want you to be able to like your photos. So it took me two tries. So let's see, I'm gonna do my frontal image. This is the left side, right side, head tilt up. This is an example of head tilt down. This is a combo. This is a head tilt side up. And this is the opposite. This is a head tilt side up in the other direction. So I'm gonna pick which five pictures of myself I like the most. And then I'm gonna import them into my clay key canvas. So I like this one, there you go. Now that we have imported an image, I want you to make sure to click on as a layer. Aha, now we're gonna adjust the position of the imported image. So you can move it wherever you want. I'm gonna put mine in the center and I'm going to use the corner to resize it. Uh, that big. Okay, now I'm going to decide where is this going to be? This is your decision. Now, once you place this down the first time, you can't move it on this program, but this is an exercise. It doesn't have to be perfect. We just want to get our assignment done, and then if you want to do it again later, you can. Great, so there is my canvas with my first imported image. Let's add some more. I'm going to click on my import button, I'm gonna click on this image. I'm gonna add it as a layer. Now I'm going to adjust the position. Where do I want it on my canvas? And the size. So I'm gonna make it smaller. It could be as big or as small as you want. And I'm gonna make myself looking at myself and I'm gonna put it to the side. If your backgrounds overlap, the image that you are importing is going to go on top. So that's another important design decision you have to make. I'm gonna put it right there. And I'm gonna click okay. All right, there you have it, my second imported image. Let's import a third image. Mm, let's do the other side. All right, I'm gonna import as a layer. I'm gonna adjust the position and resize. So adjust, I'm gonna use my corner. 
and I'm going to move my image to my desired location. We're going to be erasing the backgrounds using the eraser tool. So don't worry about the backgrounds too much. Click OK. Now we have two more to go. Let's import. Let's find the head tilts. So here's where you have some choices. I'm going to pick my head tilt down. I'm going to import. Oh, what did I just do? I'm going to cancel. I made a mistake. I clicked on it. Mm -mm. It's going to be funky. So let's import it again. Now I'm going to click on as a layer. My mistake was that I clicked on the image. And when you do that, it's selecting the part of the image as if that's the only part you want imported. So don't make the same mistake I did. If you did, you can just hit cancel and that's it. Now we're going to adjust our image again. We're going to move it. We're going to drag it to our desired location on our canvas. And I want it up there. And this one's going to be a little bit small because it doesn't, all of it doesn't fit. There you go. Perfect. And then I have, I'm going to click OK. And I have one more to import to complete the fulfillment of the assignment. If you want to add more images, you can. I'm going to click on this image. I'm going to add as a layer. And I'm going to adjust the location of my image. And I'm going to move it and resize it to my desired location on the canvas. There. So now we have five images, and they're all working together. There's a conversation happening between them. Now I'm going to click OK. And that is the end of part one. All right. So let's take a look at what happens when we add five different images. We are going to click on this part of our program. And you're going to see five layers because we have five different images imported. This is where we can really start to play with our images and overlap them. Um, so for example, if I just browse and float my mouse, it gives you a sample of which image you're talking about. So if I'm like, oh, I kind of want to change my mind. I want to move my profile image, the side image to another part. So I can click on that layer and then we're going to try to move it, although you can. Let's go to edit. You can resize. You can transform. But here's the tool we're really going to work with. We're going to use our eraser tool. And you can find it underneath this paintbrush tab. So down here, I want you to use the eraser tool. So click on eraser and the size is kind of the size of your eraser. Okay. And we're only working on this image because this is the layer we selected. So this, this eraser tool is pretty good. So now I'm going to use it by just clicking on it and voila, we are erasing the background. So I have a lot of experience drawing, but I recommend our eraser is smaller, maybe a size 20, 25, somewhere in between. That way you can really eliminate your background. And then you create a smooth, seamless digital collage. So if there's people behind you or stuff behind you, you can just erase it. If you notice, I'm putting my eraser tool on this and it's not going to erase because that layer, our first layer is not selected. All right, now I can make my eraser even smaller. Let's go size eight. And I want to get rid, rid of some of this stuff. All right, excellent. Hey, perfect. Okay, good enough. Now, if I want to use my eraser tool on this image, that was layer number four. So let's go back to our layer tab. 
and let's find where this one is. We can float our mouse over it and we see that layer four is the fourth one. One, two, three, four. Layer one, don't touch. That's just the canvas. So don't leave that alone. All right, so now we're on layer four and I'm gonna use my eraser tool. That's too small for what I wanna do. So go to your brush tab, click on the eraser tool and then try the size that best suits your needs. I recommend size 23 if you have a large background to get rid of. All right, nice job. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, so that's the idea. I want you to do that for every single layer so that you're getting rid of these backgrounds. Remember, if I try to erase over here, it's not gonna work on that picture because you have to select the layer that you wanna interact with, all right? So let's um, stop right here and you are going to erase the backgrounds of these. So give me a moment to do that and we'll come back. So take a moment now, import your five images, resize, adjust them to where you want them on the canvas and then use your eraser tool to eliminate the background. I'll see you back here soon.